Carmel Police Department is making changes to its body cameras in part because of what happened in this July incident during which a Carmel police officer shot and killed a suspect. The body camera didn't show what happened because the camera became dislodged and fell to the ground. It's a problem WRTV investigates Kara Kenny has been tracking for the past two years within police departments across the state. We warn you, some of the video in this investigation may be disturbing. The point of body cameras is to capture key moments of police interaction. Many departments use them to improve transparency and trust with the community. But WRTV investigates has found body cams can come off during critical seconds. <laughs> In July, a Carmel police officer's body camera is rolling as he begins to chase a man suspected of shooting his girlfriend and her mom. The officer's gun knocks his body camera upside down, and then during the chase, it falls to the ground. It remains on the ground as the officer shoots the suspect, only capturing audio. WRTV investigates uncovered this problem of body cameras becoming dislodged back in 2018. It happened in Muncie when two officers' body cameras fell to the ground as they punched and tased a handcuffed suspect. Other agencies have had the same problem with body cameras falling off. I don't know which one's which. Baton Rouge police took heat for the deadly shooting of Alton Sterling. Officers' body cameras became dislodged during that incident. To address this, some central Indiana police departments, like Lawrence, use this kind of body camera, where it's fastened inside the uniform. Carmel uses a magnetic mount system. Following the July incident, the agency announced they're ordering new mounts through their vendor Axon. Mounts redesigned to reduce the chance of a camera getting knocked out. Carmel's new mounts pinch the shirt's fabric around the outside, which helps lock it into place. But there's no perfect or ideal solution. So example, Dr. Jeremy Carter is the director of criminal justice and public safety for the O'Neill School of Public Affairs at IUPUI and says even the body cameras zipped into uniforms can have problems with obstructed video and distorted audio. There are some that attach to hats or around, um, around different areas of the officer. Uh, and again, they, they all come with pros and cons in terms of what kind of view shed can you get, what kind of audio. Uh, and that's typically why you see it mounted to the chest is because that is usually uh, the best location for the camera in terms of what it captures, what it can hear. Uh, but unfortunately, if you are, if you're running, if you're uh, wrestling with someone, I mean, the, the likelihood of it getting knocked off is the reality. He's helped IMPD with its body camera program. IMPD recently launched body cameras that fasten inside. WRTV Investigates reached out to Axon, who told us they offer many different mounting options. Some mounting options are magnetic and are meant to break away by design so that a subject cannot use the camera or mount to pull the officer toward them. Other mounting options require more force to break away from the officer or uniform as they're designed to have higher retention to the uniform. We are continually working with customers to improve upon our mounting options. Your tax dollars pay for body cameras. They cost around $50,000 to $100,000 a year, depending on the size of the police agency and the type of service. But like anything, it's not a perfect system. Working for you, Care Kenny, WRTV. Axon, a company which supplies body cameras to many agencies in central Indiana, went on to tell us, quote, Although Axon products perform at the highest level in the industry, use of force incidents are dynamic and fluid in nature, and all outcomes can be unpredictable. Axon prioritizes the safety of our customers and the people they serve above all else, which is why we remain committed to developing technology and training to protect life in public safety, end quote.